the Bitscope. Um, I, I I came across this accidentally actually. Um, I was looking on the web for software oscilloscopes, and I just happened to notice Bitscope, and there's a whole load of free utilities out there which work with this particular um, hardware. Now I'll read you what it says here. Bitscope. So it's a 20 meg dual uh, digital oscilloscope with up to 12 bit resolution. It's got a 40 meg per second 8 channel logic analyzer, serial logic and protocol analyzer, including SPI, CAN, I squared C, UART, etc. Real time spectrum analyzer, waveform and clock generators, uh, arbitrary waveform and capture analog and digital signals concurrently or create programmable logic and or protocol patterns, and a multi channel data recorder. So that's the bit scope. Here's our uh, bit scope. The bit scope itself, which is quite a neat, neat piece of kit. So what have we got here? Channel A, channel B, and then uh, logical, logical inputs. And it works from normal USB. You get a full set of probe leads, which look quite good. USB connector. Yeah, yeah, something in English as well. The quick start guide to Bitscope. That's the Bitscope itself. Quite looking forward to giving that a shot. Then we have the BNC adapter. So that's a nice simple. and unfeasibly well stuck together adapter for BNC probes complete with washers and all sorts of things there it is so clearly that just plugs into the back of the bit scope itself so there we have the bit scope with two BNC inputs, USB the other end. I would imagine for a lot of uses, that's the only thing you need. Now the logic analog, uh, the logic inputs have been extended out to here, so you have a whole connector here with stuff on it. And let's have a look at the adapter for the Raspberry Pi. And so here we are back again after some delay where I wasted time looking at the wrong COM port. Um, so what we have here is the bit scope uh, running. We have a signal generator output connected back to the uh, analog input just for testing. And up on the PC here, we have this marvelous piece of software, the bit scope um, software itself. Uh, it's meant for a touch screen, works pretty well on a uh, normal PC, however. I'll just expand that a bit. And as you can see, you have a tone generator here. If you just click on the frequency and move the mouse back and forward, you can change the frequency. If you click on the voltage and move the mouse up and down, you can change the amplitude, which is pretty neat, really. So there's a maximum altitude, um, amplitude of 3.3 uh, volts and basically down to nothing. And then the frequency, I haven't tested this yet. Uh, that goes down to, well, nothing really, 5 hertz. And goes all the way up. And all the way up to 250 kilohertz. 
Now, I haven't figured out how to adjust the scope yet, but I'm assuming that I can... Oh, that's sensitivity. Uh, oh, there you go, 50 microseconds per division. There you go. Well, the sine wave at that point's pretty much screwed up, but of course we've got no compensation or anything like that on. And so there you have it. Uh, that's my initial look at this. There's a lot more to this device. It does spectrum analysis and all stuff, kind of stuff in real time. There's some fabulous, uh, fabulous screens. And uh, over time, I'll be uh, writing about this in the course of my blogging. Thanks for watching the video.